Welcome to By the Numbers. My name is Renee Smith. And I'm Michelle Fleming. We have been, uh, last night, I started my first garden, Renee. Wow. I know. I have been married for 15 years, never planted, and I'm a farmer's daughter. And you've never planted a garden? No, but this is what I found out through that garden, gardening experience last night. Is there's a lot of math involved in a garden. There is. So we've recreated my garden. A, a rectangular garden, sort of, yes. kind of. It, my garden doesn't quite look that good because I have a lot more weeds in it, but this is what I found out, a few things. Okay. Okay. First thing I found out is there's a lot of, we, last time we talked about estimation, mm -hmm. and there is just a lot of math in it. Um, one of the first things was when it came, went to planting seeds. They started talking about how many seeds should be like in an inch space. Right. And it was like, there's like two or three seeds, seeds. In, a, in an inch. But where I started thinking about the estimation piece of it was when I got to my second row. Uh huh. So I went ahead and started my first row. And, but before I started, I realized I didn't know how deep I needed to plant them. Right, because that's really important because if you plant seeds too deeply, they're not going to come up. Mm -hmm. So I got out my little, my package and did my reading because I really don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and it turns out they said that they need to be a half an inch deep. Okay. Well, well that's pretty important if kids don't know how how well, big a half an inch is. Because most of us aren't going to go out in the garden and, and actually measure exactly a half an inch. And believe it or not, I didn't either. I bet. Okay. But I really had to think about as I was planting that garden, I was thinking about, okay, so how big is a half an inch? Right. And, and, so and, and a half an inch, it would be just right to there. Because so it's, not very, it's not very deep. No. And, but imagine if someone didn't know how big a half an inch was and they planted it that deep. They've just wasted their seeds. And their time. Right. So anyhow, as I was planting these, I started putting in my seeds. And as I was doing that, I got to my second row. And when I got to the second row, it said it's supposed to be 18 inches apart from my first row. Uh-oh. Again, I wasn't going to pull out the ruler right. to, to measure 18 inches. Which is only 12 inches to begin with. Right. So you would have had to gone a ruler and a half. Mm -hmm. And I probably should have done the, my rows this way to yeah, get because in my inch and a half. There you go. My, my 18 inches. Okay. But, so we would need to extend our garden to right. do that. Because, okay. yeah, because. Because we didn't make it big enough. The next thing was, tonight I'm getting ready to, to do cucumber seeds. Okay. And so I thought, okay, I know how to do this. Whole different set of directions. And I thought, oh gosh, oh no, I gotta learn something new again. Okay. Now we went to, with cucumber seeds, and with cucumber seeds, you, pa you plant them in mounds. Okay. And so you take a mound, and in fact, these mounds are supposed to be about, uh, oh, let me check. I have to read the directions here. Okay. Those mounds are actually supposed to be two feet across. Wow. Wow. Those are going to be big mounds, which we can't do that here, obviously, so we're going to do a smaller version of it. Okay. But on each mound, it says you're supposed to put five seeds in a mound. So since that's not two feet across, how many seeds do you think need to go in this mound? I think I'm only going to put about two, two seeds, seeds in there. Two seeds instead of five. Mm -hmm. That'd probably be good. But if I was, what I was thinking about on the map, half inch deep again, which I think I might be a little bit too deep there. Okay. But um, I was also thinking, so what if you wanted to have five mounds of cucumbers? Okay. And I thought, how much space do you need for five mounds how, of cucumbers? How much space do you need? And how many seeds do you need? But, all kinds of math all going on All kinds of math going on. And I also found out that once these seeds actually grow, which I'm crossing my fingers that they grow, uh -huh. that when they start growing, you have to thin them out. And when so, do you do that? Well, it depends on the plant we're talking about, but it turns out with the cucumbers, when they get two inches high, we have to start. Well, two inches isn't very tall. They're only going to be about that tall off the mm -hmm. ground. Then we're actually supposed to thin them to only three plants in the mound. Okay, so that they have enough room to grow, mm -hmm. I assume. Mm -hmm. And there's all this other things about how long, 40 to 60 days for it to, to come up. And with cucumbers, I found you have to keep adding so you have cucumbers all year long. And it talks about planting season. Wow, I, this sounds like a lot of work. I I, I'm, I'm thinking two things. The rabbits are going to eat the produce out of your garden and you're going to the grocery store. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. I hope not. Like I said, wish me luck with my first garden. Good but luck. Get your kids out there doing, helping with planting a garden or planting flowers because you just look on the back of one of these, there's a lot of math that they can be working on as they're doing something to, as my husband says, getting off Farmville and planting some 
food we can actually eat. Uh, there you go. So. Well, and it's a great it's a great lesson for them to learn, and it's a great application in, of real life math. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us in another episode of By the Numbers. You can find out more about By the Numbers on My Kids Turn.